Morning, John Jacobs, Branch One Safety. Today I want to talk to everybody a little bit more about induction in hot corridors. Unfortunately, induction continues to be one of the leading causes of fatalities in our industry, and I think it's every one of our responsibilities to do a better job identifying it, planning for it when it isn't identified, and making sure that we got the proper safeguards installed so that we can safely complete our work. So a quick rundown on the scope of this project. Uh, we were hired on to install approximately 30 foot wood poles, string a single phase of 336 ACSR conductor, and then uh, bond and ground the conductor at each pole. And this was actually designed uh, along this railroad that paralleled the double circuit 345 and 115 kV circuit. Everybody was well aware that it was going to be a hot corridor, um, but it's like any other induction scenario. You never really know how much induced energy you're going to be picking up. Um, so we recorded a series of videos to, to show everybody what we found out there. As you can visibly see and hear, uh, the grounded clamp is drawing one heck of an arc off of the pole ground. Um, the pole is suspended from a grounded digger derrick. So the crew then uh, hooked up a set of phasing sticks and measured uh, 10 kV from pole to ground. Phasing sticks from pole and pole ground. Hold it right up. Iron a pistol, you guys be careful. Ten. Current is the real killer, and after testing with an amp meter, the crew measured between two and three hundred milliamps uh, from pole to ground. The crew took a number of very purposeful steps to ensure adequate safeguards were in place. Uh, number one, they determined the average to induce voltage and current. Uh, number two, they determined the minimal approach distance and the cutoff proximity. Uh, they weren't going to get within a certain amount of feet of that line when they were setting the poles. And number three, they installed pole wrap at the base of the pole and uh, donned class two rubber gloves, uh, safely rated up to 17,000 volts. Um, they grounded that pole, uh, removing any difference in potential before handling it. You can't see it or smell it, but induction is absolutely real. Uh, you first have to identify that the right condition exists. Number two, absolutely make sure that that's communicated to every member of your crew. And number three, make sure that we're installing the proper safeguards and we got a good plan in place um, to prevent any exposure to induction. It shouldn't be any different than work at Energize Primary, as long as we plan for it. 